Hey everybody, welcome to CR Entity Designers. This is Chetan, and this is the part two of the form language series. So if you didn't watch the first one, then please watch it. Link is in the description and I button also. So if you are new on this YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Instagram also. You will get the project file free of cost on our Gumroad store. Link is in the description. And now let's get started. To make the form, you need to add a plane. So shift A and then add a plane. After that, you need to go to the edit mode and then scale it along the Y axis. And then select these corner words and then control B and then press V to add the bevel on the words. Give the two segment bevel add there. After that, you need to select these words and then scale them along the X axis. Then select the words and adjust the scale along the X axis and create a 2D block out. Select these words and then right click and then connect vertex path. Select these words, right click and then connect vertex path and create a chord based topology at there. So you will get something like this. After that, you need to rotate it into the 90 degree. And you can see, select that outer edge and then extrude that edge along its normal. So just E to extrude it. And then you need to adjust the scale along the X axis. And it looks like this. Then select that outer edge and then E to extrude it and move it along the Y axis. After that you need to select these words and then scale them along the X axis. So just select the words and adjust the scale along the X axis and create that block out. Just move these words along the Y axis and add a few loop cuts and try to create a decent curve at there. You need to use the simple transform orientation tools, move tool, rotate tool and then scale tool. Just use, this, uh, use these tools and create a 2D block out for the model. So we can refine that later on. So just give the right position to the words with the move tool and try to maintain the good curve at there. And you can see I have created a decent curve at there. Now that's look fine. Then add a subdivision surface modifier. And you can see I'm getting the decent curve. Just tweak these words a little bit. And now you need to select the faces. So just select these faces with the shift select and after that just move them along the y axis. You can turn on your extreme mode and then move them along the y axis. Then E to extrude it, then just rotate it a little bit and then E to extrude it and then scale it down a little bit. You can change the transform orientation to the normal and you can adjust their position. And then that's look good. Just select this edge loop and just move it along the Z axis, normal Z axis. Then select these faces and then E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. And then delete these faces. Select this outer edge and change to the global and move it along the y-axis and it should be a little bit bigger than the inner part okay so that's why just move it a little bit and then select this and then scale it down a little bit Then select this outer edge and E to extrude it and then scale it down and adjust the scale along the X and Y axis. And then adjust the scale along the X axis. Then select this edge, E to extrude it and move it along the Y axis and take it a little bit inside. After that you need to select these faces and just adjust their angle a little bit and adjust their position a little bit. And now you can see that's look decent. 
Now you need to add few loop cuts on the model so just add loop cuts like this. And now select these words. You can turn on your extra mode, select these words and move them along their normal and create a decent curve at there. So you can see I have created decent curve at there. So we will get a decent form. You can see it's look good. And now you need to select this edge. So just select this edge loops and then right click and then breach edge loop. So we can connect them together. And turn on your sub modifier and add necessary loop cuts on the model to maintain the form of the model. And now you can see that look decent. We got a decent form here. So you can see we got a decent form here. So just select this edge loop and then add a bevel on this edge loop. Use the insert operation. Press I for that and then extrude along the normal and take it little bit inside and press I for the insert operation one more time. So you can see we got a decent design at there. So you can see the topology of the model, it's look decent, you can add more loop cuts on the model and you can make that topology more squares, it's like a squares. So you can see the form of the model, it's look decent and we try to create the decent model here. So this is the second part of the form language series. Thanks for watching, if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel, bye bye so in the next video, take care.